Hey guys, Aaron the Nut here. Welcome back to 1111 Memories Retold. Um, we've got a stealth section here. Please, don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'm just a photographer. Understand? Hey, photographer. Hey, Freunde, lasst ihn. Seht ihr nicht? Er hat doch keine Waffe. Lasst ihn. I tried to save him. He tried to save me. But I failed. So. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, what just happened? Holy heck, I made a mistake. My dearest darling, I have had another difficult day trying to help and comfort the children affected by this terrible war. I wanted to tell you about two children I'm working with, Eva and Jack. Eva witnessed the killing of women, children, and many other innocent people. They killed her uncle in front of her eyes. They had to walk for days with no water and no food in the middle of the summer. Eventually, they reached safety, where they went to live in a camp. They had to start their life from zero, and with no income to meet their basic daily needs. At the camp, Jack began attending sessions. Here he found many other children of his age experiencing the same fear. Despite this in common, initially he struggled to socialize with the other children. This was recognized, and he was enrolled in training, which helped him to process the trauma he had experienced. His behavior started to change for the better. He started to socialize with other children and gradually let go of his fear. He is also sleeping free from nightmares. Jack has enrolled in school now and is excited to continue his education. I know you do not like me being away, but the fact that these children are making progress shows how important our work is. I hope to see you soon and that this war will end. What happened? He's a POW. Psst. Hey, Birdman, wake up. Come with me. We don't got much time. You transfer out tomorrow, right? Well, this is your last chance to get your camera back. Come on. Holy. A prisoner of war. A phrase I'd never have understood. Back home in Canada. But there I was. Four months into a stretch. At the pleasure of the German army. I was to be transferred out to the country. I'll never forget that last day. They'd taken my notebook, my camera. This was my last chance to get them back. Come here, hurry, quick. Where's the, who's talking to me? I can't tell. Oh yeah, I don't have a camera. Weiter gehen. Du hast ja nichts verloren. Kein Zutritt. Come on, Harry. Oh, here, over here. So, on cleaning duty this morning, I went through all their cupboards. I got your camera, your notebook, and anything else with your name on. I stashed it all together. It's ready to go. Listen, I'm on a break, but they got me cleaning the guard block again. You know what that means? Today's the day, Birdman. Shift starts again soon, and there's only one guard right now. Come on. Come on, Harry. Oh, 
Okay. Come here. Hurry, quick. Okay, Birdman, time to do your thing. Wait until I'm inside. You distract the Fritz, and I'll get your stuff. I'll meet you out back. I've already stashed your things. I just need a distraction, like we discussed, right? Jemand sollte sie alle erschießen. Alle. Come here. Hurry, quick. I'm coming, I'm coming. Here's your stuff. Go hide it in your buck before anyone sees. I had to hide them. A stack of letters. Months worth. The guards have been holding all of our mail. Now you'd think, that many letters from Julia, I'd have torn them open. But if I got caught, I'd never get out. Okay. I had to hide them. It was torture. Here's the thing. This is for stealth again. I obviously, like, I love stealth games. Am I good at them? Am I good at them? Absolutely not. Okay. Go this way. This way. Which one was my bunk? This one. That was an easy section. I'd also forgotten that Kurt had given me his address, back in Vimy. He lived on a farm, and I was due to be transferred out to the country. It gave me an idea, and I knew just the man who could help. Yes. German side. Dear Katrin. Four months of asking and still they do not grant my leave. All that is left is my duty now. I wake some mornings forgetting why I came here in the first place. The only thing that keeps me going, the only light I see are these letters home to you and our darling daughter. The weather here has turned a lot colder. I ride surrounded by snow. Please tell Lucy. So I had Kurt's kind of address, loss. and was to be transferred to the country the next day. If anyone knew how to change a movement order, it would be my friend Julian. Change the address on your movement orders? Impossible. You're crazy. You can try, but it's your funeral, Birdman. Good heavens. Follow me. Here's the thing that's going on in my brain. Like, who am Right in the cabinet at the back. But that's the Am I supposed to become a prisoner of war? Was that like inevitable? Distraction. I have a bird. Was a bird a good distraction? Soccer. I hadn't played since I was at school. I hated sports. <laughs> I was never any good at them. 
but for my plan, I didn't need to be. Well, no more football for us. Our ball's stuck in the roof. Oh, that's not a problem. You'll get it. I can't believe it, Harry. Thank you so much. You want to play? Come on. I don't know. Okay, wait until I'm ready, and then shoot. <clears throat> One lucky kick was all I needed, and I got it. That ball was my way in. I would have just gotten caught right there. Holy. I, I imagine this is like the way that I'm expected to get out. Expected to do this, but I honestly couldn't tell you. I wasn't expecting stealth elements. Okay, not in... Okay. Jeden Tag immer das Gleiche. Verfluchter Krieg. Um, in here. So dead. So do I have to get back out now? I was on the train before I had the chance to finally read Julia's letters. I was so distracted. I didn't even care if I was going to Kurt's farm or not. My heart was pounding. Dear Harry, thank you for all the wonderful photos you send to me. I received no reply from my last letter. Please write back. My dearest Harry, I will not believe harm has come to you. I cannot bear the thought of a world without you in it. I love you, Julia. And for the first time, those letters carried the scent of her sweet, sweet perfume. I had to get home. It had been nearly a year since I had seen my home, since I had seen my family. I could not sleep. At home, I dreamt of war. At war, I dreamt of home. I wasn't going home. Not yet, anyway. But I did have my camera back. To most on the Allied side, Germany was a machine, efficient and relentless. But there were people starving on that train, people that needed help. Ich habe solchen Hunger. So there's... Hast du diesen Wagen nichts verloren gefangen? Raus hier! Thank <laughs> you. 
Hast du in diesem Wagen nichts verloren? Raus hier! Geh weg! Honestly, just. I'm wondering if there's different Men paths that I messed up. Wounded German soldiers. Some gestured to me for food. I wasn't the hero Julia thought I was. I couldn't help these people. But I could take photos. One day, I thought, when I'm back in Canada, I'll show people what happened. And as I took those photos, I wondered, had my plan to get to Kurt's farm even worked? Good heavens, man. I had ten days at home and barely knew where to begin. I knew only that Lucy needed me. So here's a furlough. A leave of absence, as you would. I could not even bring myself to enter my son's room. Okay, I'm... There's nothing in here right now, Kurt. So this is Lucy's room. Darf ich etwas Brot haben, Papa? Wo ist mein Bruder, Papa? Hast du ihn gefunden? That's cool. Du erzählst nicht gerne vom Krieg. Warum, Papa? Mama sagt, wir haben nichts zu essen, weil Krieg ist. Warum braucht der Krieg das ganze Essen, Papa? Sometimes it's kind of finicky to get those drawers open. Also, um, cats. Is that the eine deutsche Katze, Papa? Was hat sie in Frankreich gemacht? Uh, food. Meinst du, ich kann auch mal in den Krieg, Papa? Why can I pick that up? That's not preferable. Ich hab solchen Hunger, Papa. Trying bread. That's that's bread. Isn't it? Do I need to like come over here and put something? Yeah. So there's one, the first thing. Was hältst du von dem Namen Lotti, Papa? No, that's the. I swear that's the bread. Apparently it's not. Where bread? Oh, hi. There bread. Es tut mir leid, Liebes. Dieses Stück Brot muss lange reichen. Mama hat gesagt, du hättest im Schlaf geschrien. Ist alles in Ordnung. Papa, können wir Lotti für immer behalten? Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Danke, Papa. Du hast mir gefehlt. Guten Morgen, Kurt. Ich habe Dr. Siegfrieds Stethoskop aus dem Dorf mitgebracht. Für Luzi. Uh, what am I supposed to do right now? Luzi, hast du dein Brot gegessen? Wir brauchen Feuerholz, Kurt. Oh, Firewood, okay. I can do that, maybe. Oh, wir brauchen frisches Wasser aus dem Brunnenkorb. Holst du bitte etwas? Things were different at home. Weird. We have all changed up here. Maybe it was Lucy's illness. No. Oh. Maybe it was the war. But I never mentioned Max, for I could not speak of my failure. And water, okay. 
probably doable. I need to figure out where a bucket is. Okay, so there's wood. Um, let's just see if we can... There's a well over here. There might be a bucket there. Imagine this wheel might... Oop. I was going to say that wheel might break because there's an extra wheel over there, but apparently not. I did what I could, but we remained hungry. That little girl needs food. I remember that little girl so clearly. She was alone. And she was hungry. I couldn't just leave her. Maybe the adults on board could spare a little food. Oh, I didn't see that. Whoever that chocolate belonged to, they'd be happy to feed a starving child. Or, that's what I told myself anyway. Chocolate? <laughs> hey, you know, that chocolate is walk around. As long as we don't cause trouble. <laughs> I don't want to give it to the German soldiers so bad. But the little girl first, if there's. Oh, thank you for the chocolate. Even just for a moment, even just for that little girl, I was a hero. And for some reason, it reminded me of the man whose life I accidentally saved. The man I accidentally sent allied intelligence to. The German and his cat. <laughs> Lottie is so lustig. No, oh, find out what Lucy wants. <laughs> Lottie is so lustig. Where's Lucy? Hello, Kurt. Little girl. Hey. Okay, is she in her room or something? I'm running, I'm running. Uh, this isn't going to go over well. I'm not down. Why do this? Yeah, Kätzchen. Lotti. <laughs> no, no. I did what I could. But Lucy remained ill. Oh, Lucy, alles in Ordnung? Kurt! Perfect. 
Her heart rate's definitely, like, faster than it should be. I wish I knew how to help my little girl. I came home to see my wife and my daughter, to spend time with my family, and yet none of us spoke. I thought I could come home from the war. I thought I could leave it behind. But I understand now, Katrin, and I'm sorry. I can never leave the war behind. The war follows me wherever I go. Sure enough, I found myself on Kurt's doorstep. I didn't know how he'd react. It's one thing being friends with the enemy in a tunnel underground, but another being friends out in the open. I needn't have worried, though. Kurt and his family were kind to me. They took me in, gave me a bed to sleep in, cooked me meals. In return, I helped out on the farm and did what I could around the house. A few days later, Kurt took me to a nearby village. There were things his family needed. Lucy, his daughter, was sick. And Germany was struggling to feed itself by that time. Everyone was hungry. That's going to be it for this episode. I know it's gone a little bit long, but uh, I had to find a good place to end, I guess. Uh, my mind is just like kind of blown as to what's just happened in all of this. And, oh, I don't know what to think um i don't know if there's a different path you can take or if it's just inevitable that you'll get caught um or if i just made some poor poor decisions so um <laughs> either way uh, if you enjoyed please let me know i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys